low head hydro case study. I'm looking at developing a low head hydro system with 10 feet ahead and about a thousand gallons per minute average. That's uh, about 63 liters per second with three meters of head for you metric people. So the design criteria for this uh, micro hydro system is uh, has to work year round, um, be able to be run in sub-zero temperatures, probably down as low as, well, minus 30 would be uh, the lowest uh, practical. It does sometimes get colder, but um, the stream has springs feeding it, so a submerged intake would work uh, once the ice gets on. Um, the penstock for the powerhouse from the head of the dam is approximately going to be 200 feet. I would prefer to use a steel casing. Uh, I have 24 inch steel pipe available. Um, and I'm looking at using a reaction style turbine, um, a Kaplan turbine. I think uh, Francis is out of the question because it's at the very bottom end of the head requirements to make a suitable Francis turbine. Um, I might try and print a Francis runner on a 3D printer and just see how that works, if that's something that could actually be going forward. But a water wheel tends to handle flow variations a lot better than a turbine. A turbine has a very narrow window of peak efficiency. And once you start to get outside of the flow rates that it's designed for, either higher or lower, uh, your efficiencies drop off dramatically from the graphs I've seen. I'll get you guys to uh, look here and see about my calculations, but uh, one horsepower equals 33,000 pounds being lifted one foot in a minute. So I'll take my cubic feet of water is equal to 62 pounds. One horsepower is equal to 700 46 watts of power So that's going to be cubic feet times head divide by 33,000 to get our horsepower 
So I have 133 cubic feet of water times 62 and a half equals 8043. Divide that by times that by 10 feet of head. Dividing by my 33,000 gives me two and a half horsepower. Now I'm going to take my two and a half horsepower and times it by 80% efficiency I feel is achievable hopefully to get two horsepower. Two horsepower times your 746 is going to equal out to about 1500 watts of power is what I feel is available. Whether I make that through a steel overshot wheel or a purpose-built Kaplan turbine. Um, either either way would work for me. Um, I am a machinist and a welder, so I plan on building it myself unless there's a really available um, system that is going to work that is cost effective. Um, I do have access to heavy equipment to do site work for the existing dam that is there on the property already. Um, it is just currently washed out. Um, so before I go ahead and repair the dam, I want to figure out what is the best course going forwards. Bank fell in too. Said some more bank hook collapsed.
I've read a few books. Um, this is uh, Overshot Wheels. Uh, it's mostly uh, sales literature from the Fitz Overshot Wheel Company. Um, they made steel water wheels claiming 90 to 95% efficiency. Um, lacking a little bit of engineering uh, information on how to build a, one of their specific wheels, but very good information in there. Um, Scott Davis, he's covered a lot of, uh, a lot of ground in two of his books, but uh, not a lot done on low head system. The Rodney Hunt turbine manufacturing company did produce some stuff in the 40s, but the uh, information is scarce to find on the internet. Um, so, yeah, that's the project.